So imagine you walk into a five-star restaurant and you order um, the best the best steak they have on the menu. Let's say it's like a, they have a Wagyu um, strip or whatever, and it, it comes out and the thing's covered in ketchup. Like they serve it to you covered in ketchup. There's good meat on that plate, but you're going to have to clean off and get through a whole lot of nonsense um, that you didn't plan on getting that should have never been on the steak. It's not much different than uh, martial arts, especially martial arts that teach really good stuff, you know, jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, all the, all the stuff that actually works, right? Um, you got a really good steak there, but what happens a lot of times is the environment is it, it's covered in profanity it's covered in crude behavior and, and talk um there's a lot of uh there's a lot of negative talk there's a lot of bashing of people and just uh just trash talk in general and um there could even be like just a culture of um you know there's a, there could be a hookup culture. Who knows, right? But there's a lot of things that are covering that steak. It's a great steak. Why are you gonna? Why you gotta ruin it with ketchup? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's the same thing with the atmosphere of a martial arts school and an academy. That stuff doesn't need to be there. Why you got, Why are you gonna take away from your training? Why are you gonna take away from your program by having all these things going on in the atmosphere that is not going to benefit a single one of your students. Uh, it doesn't benefit anybody, coaches, anybody in general. Okay, it, it takes away. It takes away from the the overall quality of the product.